This is one of the experimental 009 prints uh, of the uh, Bagnall diesel. Very pretty little thing. As I say, this uh, it's experimental. This, this one's a, a reject because uh, after time uh, the sides have splayed. I've got some good ones with uh, pegs that peg into the underframe. So, uh, so it behaves itself and retains its shape. So this one's for the bin anyway. Um, but uh, I've been thinking about how one would power this and what one would use for uh, motor, motor drive. Now, the obvious thing, of course, is to use a very small motor, and there are some very nice little motors available. However, my mind tends to work in strange ways. And as people know, I've done a lot with gear motors, some quite small gear motors. Uh, and of course, I started off using the N20 gear motors, which went into the 7mm lorries. Now, something that's come out quite recently is the N10 gear motor. And I bought a couple of these to have a look at, generally. And actually, an N10 gear motor will do this thing quite well. Let me put this down and we'll have a quick look. I lift the body off. This little thing, if I can pick it up, there we go is an N10 gear motor. Now, it's exactly the same sort of configuration as the uh, N20, very familiar. It's exactly the same gearbox and very similar motor. However, the motor is, see if I can get my finger into frame, the motor is shorter. Uh, you'd think it would be 10 mil shorter, the difference between 10 and N10 and N20. It's not. It seems only to be about 5 mil shorter. Let me get an N20 to put beside it. That is an N20. Now, there isn't a massive amount of difference, but nonetheless, when you're looking at small motors and small gear motors a little bit makes a lot of difference uh, now i have powered it up and uh, stuffed my fingers on the end and tried to stall it and it doesn't stall easily so it's again a very very powerful little motor uh, you can see the gearbox is much the same beast. In fact, to, to me, it looks almost identical. You can get these in a large variety of uh, ratios. Again, not quite the same variety as the N20. Uh, but thus far, you can only get them uh, in the sort of three to six volt range you can't get 12 volt yet i dare say some might turn up but i suspect this is going to be a very very useful little motor for us so it's the n10 gear motor very very pretty little thing uh if i can find roll here we are let's just put it across and you can see what size it is Uh, do that accurately. So, its overall length, I get a better view of it than the camera does. Gearbox to motor is 21 mil. Uh, so 21 mil overall, and of course, uh, in section, it's 10 by 12. Uh, it's come with this... Um, protection on but that's neither here nor there um, standard 3mm uh, 
uh, D shaft. Um, and I plan on putting it in something at the earliest convenience to see how it goes. As I say, I think power isn't going to be an issue in a small model at all. And I'm hoping uh, if one sets the uh, frequency right, that controllability should be as good as well. But I hope you find these uh, of interest. Uh, it came, of course, from eBay. And if you search N10 gear motor, this is what you'll find. And I commend it to the house.